so second order neuron transmit the pain impulse from the marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa to the subcortical areas of brain through lateral spinothalamic tract okay and from the subcortical areas of brain the third order neuron transmit the pain impulse to the sensory area of cerebral cortex now this sensory area of cerebral cortex will release the opiate peptides which will finally close the gate and then you won't feel the pain take a look at this diagram to understand the neuron pathway so first the first order neuron transmit the pain impulse to the substantia gelatinosa and marginal nucleus through the posterior nerve root ganglion okay and this is where the neurotransmitters are released and it is inhibited by the touch receptor by the collateral branch of touch receptor okay now let's say that uh, the pain intensity is very high then from the marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa the pain impulse is transmitted to the subcortical areas of the brain through the second order neuron all right through the second order neuron and then from there from subcortical areas to the sensory cortex the third order neuron transmits the pain impulse and from the sensory cortex of the brain opiate peptides are released which finally closes the gate so to sum up when the neurotransmitters are released that means the gate is open and then you feel the pain and when the neurotransmitters are inhibited either through the opiate peptide or through the collateral branch of touch fiber the gate is closed that means no pain sensation